Okay, everybody, thank y'all for checking out this video. As you can tell from the title, I put, you know, my Vexus boat is broken, cracked, you know, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this, the whole story. So we got, me and my brother, we got a 2019 Vexus AVX 2080, a used boat. We got it over the summer. Late summer, it was like the middle of July when we got it. You know, bought it used. I believe it had... 300 hours on the motor so you know a, a fairly new boat and it had a lot of hours so it's you know been used been used a good bit and i actually did not go and see it it was kind of a spur of the moment deal but that's a completely other story but you know got the boat and we brought it home and you know w of course we looked around it and you know it, i mean yeah it had some wear and tear here and there nothing terrible i mean like i said three-year-old boat and we know it had been used but the carpet was good the the seats upholstery a couple little dings here and there, but it's an aluminum boat. That's that's expected. And so everything looked good. And we fished with it. You know, me and Austin, we fished, gosh, probably two or three night tournaments out of it first. And then we did some stuff in the daytime. And when we first got the boat, you know, didn't think much of it. For the first couple trips, I was always bilging out a bunch of water. And bilging out water couldn't figure it out and i looked in the battery box one day and my live well plumbing had a crack in it so when my water had my live wells had water in them it was coming out of the plumbing one of the 90s had a crack and it was just dripping draining out in the battery box so you know that's yeah it sucks but whatever that's just something i gotta fix so i fixed the live well plumbing and Kept fishing a couple more trips. I was doing some guided trips at night, and it was, like I said, late summer, so July, August. We didn't really have many tournaments going on because there's not much going on that time of the year as far as, you know, normal tournaments besides, like, jackpot stuff or night stuff. But I was doing doing some night tournament or doing some night tournaments, night trips, and just fun fishing on the weekends. And the live well was fixed, but the, every once in a while, I was still bilging out water. So eventually the bilge pump quit working. I had to replace the bilge pump. So I had fixed the live well leak, fixed the broken bilge pump. So I'm thinking, okay, this is what it was. I should be squared away, squared away now. So, you know, once again, same old story. Kept fishing, made a couple deals at night, uh, fishing along in the daytime, and I'm still bilging out water every once in a while. And it didn't really make sense, you know, at first. I'm like, okay, well, this, so I knew something was not right. And then I'm like, well, I'm, I am taking on a lot of water when I come off pad because the we have a jack plate on the boat. And I, to this day, I still can't figure out how to not swamp the back of the boat. It doesn't matter what I do. It seems like I'm always going to get a little bit of overwash coming on the back deck when I get off pad. So I'm thinking, well, I'm, I am getting a lot of water doing that. So that could be part of it. So this goes on for like two months. So... About the middle of September is whenever tournaments pick back up. My brother fishes high school tournaments. Me and my granddad were fishing some local tournament trails. So like early September is when tournament season kind of picks back up before it ends, you know, in November, December. So we did some practice fishing for a high school tournament and then fished a high school tournament. And I was the boat captain, so all I could do was sit there. And with me sitting there for a full eight-hour tournament day, that bilge pump probably kicked on like eight times, maybe once an hour, and I'm bilging out gallons at a time. So then I knew like, okay, this is not right. I'm not, I'm not bilging out live well water because the live well's fixed, and we're not moving that much, so it's not like I'm getting a lot of spillover on the back. So I know that I'm getting water is leaking in from somewhere. And at first, you know, I'm thinking, well, it could be, I mean, it could be something as simple as the transducer mount for the, you know, live, for the, uh, not the live well, I'm sorry, for the depth finder, the transducer, the bracket, it could be the screw for that. It could be loose, you know, water's getting in. It could be, I mean, it could be anywhere. And, you know, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, okay, you know, aluminum boat, they're welded, could be cracked, God forbid. You know, in the back of your head, you're always thinking, you know, worst case scenario, but initially, I was not thinking that. So, you know, like I said, we fished a high school tournament, fished a local tournament, and, you know, same thing. But it was never, it wasn't like so bad where I was like, okay, I got to get this fixed right now because we had a lot of tournaments to do. I mean, we from, from the 1st of September till the middle of November, we probably fished 
close to seven or eight tournaments, and that's not counting. At the same time, I'm doing I'm doing guide trips and practicing and you know scouting for guide trips. So I'm I'm fishing a lot, so I don't really have time. I didn't make time to stop and check everything out. So September goes or September comes and goes. We get into October, fish a lot. Um, so, you know, same things happening. Could not figure it out. I made sure I was pushing the plug in. I didn't take a water hose and fill the boat up and see where it was coming from because, like I said, I was, I was just, I was too busy and I just didn't make time for it. It was kind of, you know, I guess maybe being lazy on my part, but I didn't, didn't mess with it. And I was like, okay, let we've only got a couple more tournaments left. Let's just finish this out and see what happens. So fish through October and they had two high school tournaments back to back in November, two weekends in a row and me being boat captain. So I sat, you know, 16 hours for two weekends, just doing nothing, sitting there and the bilge pump, I'm talking about constantly coming on a bunch. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this something's not right. And of course, you know, we haven't, haven't hit anything. I mean, we've only had the boat for four or five months at this point. Haven't hit anything. Um, you know, hadn't been rough with it so i'm like okay something, something's not right so we fished a high school tournament at lake seminole uh go on friday saturday come home saturday afternoon sunday took all my crap out of the boat and monday morning we took it to the marina where we got it from and it needed to be serviced anyway so okay this is a good time i need to get the boat serviced and i'm gonna tell them i'm taking on water from somewhere and i knew we didn't have any more tournaments until 2023 no big tournaments, so I was like, okay, this is a good time to get this fixed. But, you know, in the back of my head, I'm hoping it's something simple, but at the, you know, you're always, like I said earlier, thinking about worst case scenario. So in the back of my head, I'm kind of thinking like, this this could be major, it could be a big problem. So we got all my stuff out of it. I was, you know, prepared, me and Austin were prepared for this to be a minor fix or a, a major problem. So we took it over to the marina, told them about it, and they were kind of on the same page as me thinking like it's probably something minor you know hopefully it's nothing big so dropped it off at the marina where we got it from on a monday and they looked at it you know serviced it tuesday and they called us on wednesday and said that they had found a 10 inch crack in the hull of the boat so they had and i'll post a picture of this They had a tenant. They had found a ten-inch hole in the bottom bottom of my boat. Uh, wasn't even on the weld. It was a crack in between the welds on the hull of the boat down there. Uh, I guess you would say I want to guess like around like where the live wells would be. I guess so directly under the live wells. That's about where the crack was. And so they found the crack, took a picture of it, sent it to us, called Vexus. Vexus was like, all right come on, send it to us, we're gonna fix it. And so that's the first part of the story. So to sum that long story up, got the boat in July, since the day we had it, it was bilging out water, didn't really think much of it at first. A couple months go by, started thinking there was a problem. And then before I took the boat to the marina, back to the dealer, I was like, okay, I know something's wrong. So this is, this is like a three or four month thing with me taking on water and not thinking much of it until right before I took it. So, got the boat, took it to them, the marina, and like I said, they found the, found the crack, sent the picture to Vexus. Vexus was like, okay, we're going to take it back and fix it. So, now this is where the second part of my story gets. And so, dropped the boat off. I dropped the boat off the week before Thanksgiving. I want to say it was like November the, I think their tournament was November the 12th or 13th. So, I dropped the boat off on like a, the 14th. 15th maybe of November and dropped it off on a Monday. Vexus said they would handle it on Wednesday and on Thursday a 18 wheeler was sitting at the marina and picked my boat up. So Vexus found out about it. They sent a truck and come and pick my boat up, took a crane, loaded my trailer and boat, you know, trailer and boat all together, loaded the all, the whole rig onto the 18 wheeler with a crane or however they did it and got it on there strapped that thing down and headed back to Arkansas so in my head when they told us it was cracked I'm thinking oh god you know here we go here comes this process so we were debating 
you know, are we gonna personally take it? Like, am I just gonna get in my truck, drive 10 hours to Arkansas to drop my boat off to get fixed? You know, what's gonna happen? And we, they called us and told us they had found the crack and Vexus was gonna handle it. So then we're thinking like, okay, what now, what? And this was on a, a Wednesday afternoon. So Thursday, my granddad went to the marina because he lives, he lives the closest to it. He goes to the marina to get the rest of my stuff out, just like some odds and ends that I had left in it. And while he's there, the Vexus 18-wheeler pulled up and they were loading the boat. So like he's there trying to get the rest of my stuff out and they're like trying to get the boat loaded. So that was a big surprise. We did not, I did not think that was gonna be the case. So within 28 hours, 36 hours of Vexus finding out about the crack, they already had a truck to come get the boat and take it back. And so far, they, you know, for, from the beginning, they told us it wouldn't cost us anything. So they come and got the boat, took it back to Arkansas. So the boat got up there like on a Friday. And then the following week was Thanksgiving. So, like I said, the boat got up there on a Friday. They had it that next week. And I believe I, I got a contact at Vexus, a, a, a guy in the warranty department I've been talking to. And I talked to him on like a Wednesday. And he said that they should hopefully start about the middle of December on the process. And what they're doing is we're getting an in, we're getting an, a whole replacement, but that basically means I'm getting a brand new boat. But they're going to take my motor, batteries, trawler motor, seats, the hot foot, all the stuff like the accessories, the stuff that can be taken off my old boat is going to get put on a new boat. But I'm going to have a 2023 boat 2023 hull you know so a, a brand new boat but just my like i said my trolling motor my batteries my motor my uh my seats maybe my glove box i'm not 100 percent 100 percent sure but basically i'm getting a new boat but i'm having the same motor and trolling motor basically like that's pretty much what's happening i'm getting a, a new skeleton a new boat you know new carpet compartments everything i'm just a, a, it'll be a 2023 boat with a t my 2019 motor, and so that's kind of exciting. Even though this whole the whole process kind of sucks, but you know, getting a new boat out of it. So that was like I said, the week of Thanksgiving. Talked to the guy, and you know, of course, off Thanksgiving, and then I waited like a week or two, and I either emailed him or called him, and asked for an update, and he said there hadn't been one yet. So. I waited about another week or two, you know, and it, I, I know I know these things take process. I'm not trying to rush it or be impatient, but, you know, I just kind of want to stay updated on, you know, what's happening. And I'm uploading this video you're watching on Tuesday, December 20th. And as of yesterday, the boat was, my boat was in rigging and it should be finished this week, this week before Christmas. And the boat will be ready to go. Unfortunately, Vexus is off next week, which I understand, you know, it's the week. After Christmas, before New Year's, they're going to be off. I understand that. And the boat is going to be shipped back after the New Year. So, honestly, this whole the whole process has been really good for through Vexus. Um, we had, I don't even think we've really, honestly, knock on wood, had any hiccups. Um, they also are going to put C-Deck in the floorboard of the cockpit for me free of charge and like i said they all this has been free of charge you know it's under the warranty they've made this process super super easy not super stressful because at first you know i thought this was gonna be a nightmare but honestly it's been about what i expected and you know better than i expected you know they come and got the boat so quick and i know they're busy it's a busy time of the year um i'm sure i'm not the only one that is getting a, a hole replaced right now but like I said, it was a 2019, 2080, and had a 10 inch crack in the hole, and Vexus is, you know, they're fixing it, they're making it right. So a big shout out to them. Of course, you know, I don't I don't work for Vexus. I'm not sponsored by Vexus. You know, I don't, they didn't give me this first boat. You know, they're fixing it under the warranty. So, you know, so far so good. Um, and when this process started, I was tr on YouTube trying to find, find somebody that had this similar situation. And I found one guy, I can't remember his name, so I'm sorry, um, but he had a, a blue, either 1880 or 1980, and he kind of had a different situation, and his replacement was not as smooth, but so far, going through going through my marina, or our dealer, you know, Weedowie Marine in Weedowie, Alabama, 
and the the warranty department and the people at Vexus has been a good process so far. So like I said, as of today, Tuesday, December 20th, my boat is probably getting the finishing touches done. It should hopefully be finished up this week, just ready to get strapped down and sent back to Georgia or Weedowie. Um, so it's gonna be after the first of the new year. So it's gonna be about a month and a half process, the whole deal, which is not that bad considering I'm getting a getting a brand new brand new boat essentially um, under the warranty. But I just wanted to kind of give y'all a story of you know how this how this process happened. So that way, if you're in a similar situation, or if you're just wondering about you know the Vexus warranty or the customer service, so far for us everything has been good. Like I said, they're putting in Sea Deck in the floorboard for me free of charge. Not the whole boat, just down there in the cockpit, you know where your feet are at the majority of the time. So that'll have Sea Deck in it, and then there'll be a couple updates and improvements on the new boat compared to the one that we had. But as far as I know, getting a brand new hull, it should be a thicker hull. Hopefully it doesn't have a crack. And all this was was like, I don't know if it's a stress crack or I think it's just kind of like a defect or like a lemon in the first boats they made. The the aluminum's too, too thin is what I understand. And they've had this problem happen. And instead of just trying to fix the one piece that's messed up, they're just fixing everything, making it right which, you know, I applaud Vexus for that. That makes this process uh, extremely smooth for us, and it makes you, you know, want to purchase another boat down the line, you know. If you have a something that goes wrong with your boat and it's a nightmare to get it fixed, you're not going to want to go with that company again. But so far, you know, knock on wood, this, this process has been super smooth, super easy, and I really appreciate it that, you know, everybody's been working on this to make it, make it go this way. But like I said, so today's December the 20th, I'm making this video. I'm going to upload it. So hopefully the next video about my boat is going to be us going to get it, kind of walk through it. Of course, I'm going to do all that, show all the stuff. And if, if something's jacked up, if it's messed up or whatever, I mean, I'm going to talk about it. Like I said, I'm, I'm not an employee of Exus, not sponsored, you know, not under contract. I'm just making this video on my own. We're getting our boat fixed under warranty. But I just wanted to tell y'all this process of how everything has went. So hopefully... It, that answers kind of any questions or concerns people might have had because that's one reason I want to do this video is because whenever we started this process, I was trying to find somebody that had done a similar thing and I found that one guy that he was kind of in a different situation. So hopefully anybody that's out there that's having to send a Vexus boat back that's got a crack, this is how my process went. It's going to be, as far as I know now, about a month and a half deal. Hopefully getting the boat back the 1st of January maybe the second week of January at the latest, and then I'm gonna put some new debt finders on it, do all kinds of sorts of stuff, but that's gonna be different videos down the road, but this is just about my, my process with the warranty, so as far as far as everything's been right now, it's it's gone good, and you know, I applaud Vexus for that. I don't have any complaints or concerns about anything. Like I said, I didn't have any hiccups along the way. It's been, been a good process, so if anybody is, you know, thinking about getting a Vexus boat, you know, this is something to consider. It, as far as my situation, the warranty process has been been really good, really smooth. So yeah, that's that's one of the good things, you know, and you hear people have complaints with the Vexus warranty, but that's gonna be any company. A lot of it could be your dealer that has problems. It just, there's, there's, no, there's no one situation for everybody. Everybody's gonna have a different situation, but this is my situation, the one that we've went through and like I said, it's been as painful, or as it's been not painful, it's been uh, as least amount painful as it could be, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I was expecting, I mean, this could be three months, four months, but it's been about a month and a half when it's all said and done, hopefully, which is awesome. I'm going to get the boat back at a perfect time, uh, just enough time to get situated, get it back up and running. Uh, get my new debt finders on it, everything rigged up how I want it, get my stuff back in it, and tournament season starts in February. So like I said, uh, getting the boat back here pretty soon, I'll have another video on that once we get it back and I'll walk through it again and talk about it. But so far the warranty process has been good. So a big thank you to our dealer, Weedowie Marine, and a huge thanks to Vexus Boats. So far it's been good. And Y'all been looking out for a video here pretty soon about me getting the boat back, or if there's something else happens on the way, I'll post one. But if you want to stay tuned on this process, make sure you subscribe to me. But 
other than that, thank y'all for watching, and I hope this uh, helps somebody that's in a similar situation or thinking about a Vexus boat in the future. Thanks.